Christine Ligorio. I'm a senior writer at Inc. Magazine. Um, I'm here with Slava Rubin, who um, founded Indiegogo, one of the largest crowdfunding platforms in the world. And Sam DeBrower, who co-founded a company called Scanadu, which makes an at-home diagnostics product called The Scout. Um, so we're going to jump right into this. We only have 20 minutes. So Not even. They have us at 15. Oh, jeez. OK, well, can you each give me 60 seconds to kind of bring the crowd up to date on what your companies are doing right now? Uh, sure. So we launched in January 2008 to democratize fundraising. And uh, now we distribute millions of dollars uh, in 70 to 100 countries a week. Uh, we are operating in every country of the world. Um, obviously, many of you now know the industry that we started now as uh, crowdfunding. And we're really excited to be here. There's lots of great customer stories, but I'll give it to Sam. Yes, so Scanadu is a company building um, the medical tricorder. So we want to be the last generation to know so little about our health. Uh, the medical tricorder being a small device uh, we call Scanadu Scout. Um, it measures your vital signs in a few seconds using the smartphone as the reader. And it's our first product. And Sam, you, you have a really interesting story about why you founded the company. Um, do you want to talk about that just quickly? Yeah, sure. So um, eight years ago, um, my youngest child had um, a very bad accident, and I found myself and my family for a very long time at the hospital, and um, I felt very, very powerless and frustrated to not be able to understand and interact with my son's health. Um, coming from a science tech background, I thought this is... This cannot be. This is middle age. I have nothing. And when I go home, I just have a thermometer. So this is just not possible. And this is how it started. Slava, uh, to jump over a little bit to just to crowdfunding, uh, there are, as of last year, some 450 crowdfunding sites in existence. I mean, maybe more now. And certainly, there will be more as the SEC in the US figures out how actually to regulate um, you know, equity-based crowdfunding. Can you give us your analysis of this ecosystem? Um, I mean, you know, there's one Facebook and one Google. Why do we need 450 crowdfunding sites, or do we? It's funny, when we came out in January 2008, uh, everybody thought we were fools. Uh, no one wanted to copy us, no one wanted to follow, no one wanted to give us any money. Um, you know, I think access to capital is a massive problem around the world, and it's not an American problem, it's every single country. I don't really see this uh, going away anytime soon. Actually, there's well over a thousand competitors now. Uh, some of them have actually been funded on Indiegogo, uh, saying that they'll be like Indiegogo but better, which is totally cool <laughs> because uh, we're a completely open platform. Anybody can raise money for absolutely any idea without any application. The, uh, the way the industry will evolve will probably be like many in industry. Brand new idea. People see that it's interesting, massive market opportunity. People will follow. Everybody will try to carve out their niche or try to figure out their area. Uh, in the long run, usually a lot of these companies will run out of money or run out of opportunities. There'll be consolidation. Uh, one or a few companies will do well to serve the market. You know, the world is a big place. Access to capital is a massive market. I think it's very, very early. Um, if I was to compare, I think it's like in social media or social networking in 2003. Back then, you already had the Globe, you already had Friendster, you just had MySpace, you barely have Facebook. Um, and if you fast forward 10 years later, people don't even talk about social networking anymore. It's now just layered into the fabric of communication. I think 10 years from now, it will be the same way with uh, crowdfunding, which is people won't even talk about crowdfunding. It'll just be layered into the, the fabric of funding. And uh, yeah. You raised an incredible amount of money on Indiegogo. Um, how much was it? One point. We raised uh, 1.6 million dollars. Yeah. How, how did you? Uh, what was your first contact with Indiegogo? How did you decide to go with Indiegogo for raising funding? Okay. So first of all, we are designing a product to become uh, a medical device, and Indiegogo was very open to medical and health devices. It